Welcome back, folks. It was it was a bit longer of a break than we expected, except for you. You people don't deserve it. Anyway, so we're back here. It is the next day, which means that the two entrepreneurs, they get to pick up their copper barrels. Okay. Um... I'll wait to get up. No, I won't do that. Um, I'll wait. I'll wait for Gannon to get up, and I'm already up because I'm nice and excited. And well, I probably have really been to bed. No, me. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll get an eye patch, and I will practice going yeah. Uh, and I'll also see if I can find yeah. And I'll see if I can find a cutlass from somewhere. Um, and wait for you to get him. <laughs> Oh, can I find a dead parrot? Is there a dead bird anywhere? I'll go outside. I'll, 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 go, I'll go outside and I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll use my chakra to kill a random bird and then staple it to my shoulder. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yes. And then I'll come back away to Ganon. Ganon, you walk up to Raggy and you see that exact scene. Raggy with an eye patch, a dead st- headless bird stapled to his shoulder, wearing a hat. Uh, and, uh, and a flag. Don't forget the flag at the back of my head. And the flag. <laughs> Take this shit off. Oh, my business suit. With his business suit, too. And, and a wooden cutlass. And a walking stick slash lads. <laughs> I'll okay. say it again. Take that shit off. Uh, I'll start removing my clothes below the waist. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of the parrot. Get rid of the eye patch. Get rid of the flag. Oh, no, I'm keeping the flag. Uh, I'll, I'll put the eye patch and the bird in my pocket for now. I'll agree to that. So I'm keeping the flag. It's so uh, Mwamians know who I am. Have you, have you read the letter? We've got to declare who we are. We were tuned into the name of this kingdom. Oh, God. Anyway, so you guys go to the blacksmith that you guys purchased the barrels from. Mm-hmm. He's not there. His wife okay. is. Okay. Uh, don't tell me she speaks uh, as low as I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, hi, Mrs. Hi, hi Blacksmith. You changed since yesterday. Hi. That, nice outfit. Are you guys here for the barrels? Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, we are. All right. One second, please. Here you go. Here you go, ten copper barrels. Oh, ten? Oh, okay, great, thanks a lot. I thought we only ordered five. Shh, don't worry about it. That's very kind of you. Uh, oh, what, hus- what, what, husband, what is... got, husband got too excited to please his god. That's Said, what... I must make more. Made you double what you ordered. That's, Have very, fun. that's very kind. We'll, we'll give you a special pew at service. Right. Hey, it's my church. I can give them a special pew if I want. I know it's your church. Don't blame me because you haven't got one. It's not my fault God didn't choose you. <laughs> <laughs> the monastery I trained at worshipped Irori. As the sun sparkles down on me through the clouds, you see... That's, you know, the reason I'm here is I'm on a mission from God. Huh. Uh, a flower that lands on, on Raggy's head. Does James Brown start singing? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's a rather large shadow all around you. It's getting bigger. Well, uh, I miss James Brown. How about Aretha? Does she have a go? <laughs> <laughs> Do you look up? Uh, yeah, why not? You see a whale. Uh, excellent. Um, <laughs> it's coming down on top. 
<laughs> it's coming down towards you. Huh, I get my <laughs> I get my checklist out of the galaxy out, and I do exactly what it says. I don't panic. <laughs> uh, run. No, well, I'm not panicking. I'm just quietly walking away with my ten um, uh, copper pots. Here, uh, get it. <laughs> this is the church. The uh, the actual uh, place is right here where you picked up the uh, barrels. Oh. So it's kind of like, yes, walk down into the whale. For those of you who don't know. It is mathematically possible, but not probable, for a whale and a flower pot to fall from the sky. Uh, or, if you've got an infinite improbability drive, uh, <laughs> what happened actually? Did something transform into the whale or did the whale get teleported? I can't remember. I have no idea. I can't remember. Nah. All I know is that a whale and a flower pot fall out of the sky. Well. As long as they're enjoying it, that's the main thing. Yo, now the townsfolk have whale blubber, whale meat, and whale fat for the next year. Praise, praise Voldrum. That's all I have to say on the matter. Uh, as I skip off towards the uh, Church of the Lesser God. Yes, the church with about a million or so followers versus Voldrum with five. Quality over quantity. Except in the case of eggs. In the case of eggs, you know, just quantity. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway, so you take your barrels of copper to the church? Uh, nine of them, yes. One I'll keep for me in case I need to brew any humans. Oh, shit, I was supposed to describe that to you. Uh, there's, oh. an old, there's an old custom. Basically, when a person's when an old person's near death, they would start eating honey, until basically all that comes out is honey, and all they're sweating is honey. And then when they die, honey is they are covered in honey and put in a sarcophagus. Fifty years later, that honey is harvested and used for medicine. I was going to say they'd still they wouldn't rot if they were in honey much. If they were that dosed up in honey, not that you could be that dosed up in honey, but if you were that dosed up in honey and survived, and, and let's ignore the fact that you can't be for the moment, you wouldn't rot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, it's basically uh, used for medicine. Well, I was thinking more in terms of you know, um, not aromatherapy. Uh, what's it called? What's what's the medicine Jed uses? Is called. Hmm. Jed. Uh, Jed. Where, where you distill stuff down and make it more and more water. I have no idea. Oh. Uh, Do I look uh, like an uh, alchemist to you? Homeopathy. Oh okay. Anyway. Oh well. Anyway, never mind. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we'll take nine there and I'll keep one. I'll, mm -hmm. uh, I'll take it to my bedroom and we'll install it there or something. Uh, I'm sure they want minus pin in the rusty dragon down. Uh, yeah, so we'll take okay. a mine instead of five and say, good news. Good news, everyone. Good news, everybody. Ah, good. You have you have the copper barrels. Ooh, nice. And nine of them. Mm. Uh, yes, well, I thought, thought you'd always want one to be in cleaning, and this will allow you a rotation, and we'll give you three extra spare on top of that, so you'll be able to produce eight-fifths of what you're able to produce for just five. He, look, he looks from ragged again and going, did that really just come out of his mouth? Just what, the 160% thing? Oh my god, he's intelligent. Only, only, when it comes to only when it comes to trading. Okay then, so follow me as he leads you to a staircase which goes down and down and down and over and up and up and up. And you're in your and you're in a rather dusty room. This used to be our distillery room. Don't ask me how the Inquisitor knew it was here. We'll never know. 
Well, if we dedicated to Voldrum, you won't have any trouble with that because we don't have inquisitors. We have happy people. That's him hanging on the wall. Oh, hello, Mr. Inquisitor. Do you think do you really think you should do this in front of him? Uh, in front of the dead rotted skeleton? Yes. Oh, won't he report you? In front of the dead rotten skeleton? No. <laughs> well, that's very considerate of him. Have you bribed him or something? Yes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he already has a few followers down there. All ready to begin the brewing process once more. Uh, I'll, I'll stump the things with property of the Church of uh, Vondrum the Everliving in case any inquisitors get any bad ideas. And I will <laughs> wave a finger at the guy on the door, on the tag on the back of the door. Uh, well. Well, I will wave a finger as if he's naughty, you know, towards the guy that's um, hanging on the wall. His jaw falls to the ground. Oh, I'm not surprised. He's probably never seen such a powerful god as Voldemort the ever living. I just imagine Koro is right now in his chair laughing his ass off. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's the thing, apparently. Mm -hmm. Do you guys take any close look around the room? Uh. I guess. All right. Uh, go ahead. Roll perception for reasons. Perception? No, that's not happening. I, I don't. <laughs> Valdra doesn't believe in perception. <laughs> Noticing things. Pa. It's not a question of noticing things. It's a question of believing that they're inappropriate. <laughs> Jesus, Ganon. Ganon, you notice the tear in reality. You go into it, and man, all the colors and the swirls, and the why the fuck did a hand just appear on the side of my face? Why am I here? <laughs> okay, that was, that was weird. Anyway, so, yes, you are in swirly land, and all the colors, and man, the feelings. Then you quickly snap yourself out of it. Like, what, what, what? And then you notice something. Uh. These guys are undead. <sighs> the little workers, they're undead. Huh. Well, uh, I'd like to point out, Gander, that our workers are undead too. Don't be stressed. Most menial labor in this town is done by the undead. Street cleaning? Undead. Watering the flowers? Undead. Mail, mail delivery? Hoppies, but... We're not going to do that. Have they unionized? Braggino. <laughs> Uh, I'll go on, please. <laughs> but anyway, so yes, we have our full facilities now. Everything should be working. All that comes to comes to pass is what flavors do you want to sell? Purple. He quickly, Xantos quickly turns to look at Ganon. Uh, what were your most popular blends? Juniper? Uh, not really. You can't really get juniper around here. Um, apple, apple cider with a mix of, uh, sip, with a little bit of a citrusy aftertaste. Then you also had mold berry, like a berry blend type thing, you know, multiple different type of berries. And, uh, most... Our most well extreme uh, favorite was known as the Dragon's Gut. I don't think I want to try that. Let's just say if you drink if you drink a nice full glass tankard of it, do not breathe in front of the fire. Mm. <laughs> well, 
I guess that sounds good. So just those fla well, we could do an extra flavor if you guys want. Your choice. Dragon's Apocalypse or Dragon Heart. You think Smoke. I know you think I know how to brew Well no, I mean just what what flavor? Just say a flavor and we can make it. Again, you think I would know? I'll take a quick look at the brewing process and determine, or oh, really well, uh, what actually they're producing. Uh, moonshine. Just alcohol, fair enough. Yeah, just alcohol. But they produce a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I will tell them about the boat in the harbor that is ready to receive shipments. Uh, and uh, once we've had the tour, I'll, I'll thank them for uh, uh, opening their service up again and mm -hmm. um, go down to the docks and tell the captain. You know, Raggy, you made me think of a new flavor we could try. Pink? Sparkles? You should be seeing sparkles after you drink it. Sauerkraut? <laughs> Basically, something strong enough to make make the person as stupid as you. Punk. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so the first delivery will be ready by the end of the week. Okay. Sounds good. Then I will. That's that sounds great to me. I'll head off and tell the captain. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gannon, mm. you're handed a slip of paper. This should this uh, should suffice as the new contract. It even has an updated price. Go ahead and look at it. And your eyes instantly turn into giant money signs. <laughs> like cha ching. Four four K platinum per year. With the with the upgraded stills and the increase in productivity as well as the new flavor. Yeah, this should be more than adequate. You're you're just like, huh. I feel like praying to a god. Well, can I give you a pamphlet about that? <laughs> <laughs> Ganon goes home and prays to his goddess, Aurora, <laughs> on his knees, like a good little boy. Anyway, yeah. So by taking you go back, you go down to the harbor and you uh, pay your your skeletal crew. Yep. Pay pay the skeleton crew. Ah. Okay, so he directs you to a little box in on the side of the ship where you you where you are to deposit the money. And as soon as you do so, the ship sinks into the water. Blog. Is Doug is uh, Raggy going to put forth the six hundred gold he said he would? Yep, and I will lead over to the edge of the docks and wave. Downwards. Okay, so that's sixty platinum. I don't have to pay. Mm -hmm. And um, check a uh, ruby stack in the water. And the ship rises from the deep instantly. Boom! I do. I do. Give you shots of magic. And hits Raggy on the chin. As he leans over the dock. <laughs> the ship looks completely brand new. As you see the crew quickly bustling around around the deck, brand new, spanking happy and freaking as hell. The captain walks on with his dark blue coat, looking around going, Arr, this looks like a fine ship. How... Thank you, my benefactors. How may I be a service to you? Well, you're going to have a new shipment of uh, 
Moonshine coming in at the end of the week. Ah, nice. Uh, same place, I take it, that you want us to deliver? Yes. All right, the shackles will finally get their booze again. Yar. And I brought you a parrot. And I'll get the dead bird out of my pocket. As soon as he touches the bird, the bird comes back to life. And he rests on this on his shoulder. I shall call him Polly. Oh, Polly the parrot. How nice. Rag is an asshole. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I will. Uh, well, it's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, we're going to stay here for a few days, then wait for, wait for our shipment, and then we'll shove off. We'll be, it takes us oh, about a week or two, depending upon uh, the weather conditions, mind you. But then we shall be back for the next shipment, and we will return with the money that we made in that time. Right. And while we're at it, we might as well do some privateering while we're at it, boys. Yeah, there's been Bobby and Suck today. Is it all right if we, if we go out for him for the remainder and come back with our spoils of war? Uh, as long as you come back. If you don't come back, I'll probably be disappointed or forget. What is it to? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you come back. <laughs> Arr, uh, you guys might want to get off the deck. Yep. As I'm the, on, Raggy. Uh, I'll leave the gunner. As the ship sinks into the ocean again. And you'll actually see its shadow cruising out. You know, if it's going to sink that much, we should get insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Considering that the ship is ghostly in nature, I don't think we have to worry. Oh, I'm just saying, it would be nice to claim on it five times a week. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think an insurance agent would get wise to that? Not one that likes his legs. <laughs> I have no comeback to that. <laughs> Any, we'll go to Ipen and Owen. Mackenzie, are you awake? Nope. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Owen. Mm, yes. Your arms are on. Okay. The specifications I wanted? Uh, Mach 3s. Cool, cool. The black? Yes. Hell yeah. Um, Pixie Bro with me? Yep. Yeah, fish bump. Yeah. Black like you ain't. <laughs> yeah, well, to be completely honest, yes, oh, it is pale. Just beyond pale. Um, Like, are we talking jet black here? Uh, maybe. Two-toned. <laughs> jet black with some silver? Uh, probably a gray. Maybe a little bit of silver. And, and, here and there. Okay, Janice. <laughs> Look. Anyway. <laughs> Make me lose both of my arms. Leave me alone. Um, I don't want to work. Eh. It's, it, it, it's top-notch work like always. Mm. He might be a back-alley doctor, but he knows what he's fucking doing. Gotcha. Owen, uh, Owen has no money. Hmm. Does he ever charge you? No, he doesn't, because I bring my, my own parts. I'm just going <laughs> to give him a tip. Owen's feeling kind of... Owen, Owen goes, hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, Owen gives him the tip of his dick. Yep. Anyway, um, anyway. Uh, Owen will check his watch. Uh, it's about 4,000 years in the past. Eh, is time right? Or is it a forward ahead? What? What? But was the actual time? Was the time it's reading? Not just a date? Uh, time. Hmm. time. Noon. Oh. Noon? Ah, ah, fair enough. Um, 
time, oh, oh. today, this month, this year. This year. This year. Eh, uh, some, the, 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 oh, at some just... point, at some point from the beginning of the universe to the end of the universe. Ah, okay, fair enough. Oh, dude, awesome pocket watch. Um, oh well, oh, we'll leave the doctor's office and uh, and uh, get acquainted to his arms again. Mm hmm. And uh, you're happy. Yeah. You go around uh, the corner. Please make it well safe. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Owen backs away from that corner. And goes down. <laughs> Just like Owen oh, hears something from the pack from from above him. Make a will save. Do do do. Nope. Nope. I don't. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you really want me to make a will save? All right. So you have to make me lose my arms again. God damn it. You're in an alleyway with uh, with two prostitutes on either side of you. Owen oh, blasts the prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got he's got two of them now, so it's just fuck you anyway. Um, you find yourself that you're not actually hallucinating. Huh. They work, good, excellent. You see dead two dead prostitutes. Ungo, <laughs> they'll never believe it. Oh, he changes the color on his chest. Um. <laughs> oh, it's just like. Oh, it's just like good, excellent. Um. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. we'll check his, uh, oh, we'll check his day planner, seeing if it if if it's today. Today's the day for for his lunch with Asmodeus or not. And then, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, oh yeah, Spixie, bro. What do you want to do, dude? Shrug. I know, right? I got these new bitch in arms. I don't know what to do. It's crazy. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's when you that's when you run into Raggy and Ganon. In the middle of the in the street. Oh. There you guys again. I mean, oh yeah, huh, huh, hmm. Oh, uh, by the way. Once you guys meet in the center of the street and everything like that, please roll wolf saves. <sighs> well Fuck that and change my color. <laughs> the orange like, is betraying me. And I'm refreshing. Uh, Just to be safe. Goddamn, somebody took my goddamn dice. Four, five. Hang on, hang on. We'll save. That's what I got to do. Okay, there's one. Oh, is Pixie Bar riding on top of my head still? Or my shoulder? Uh, he's in your pocket. Okay, fair enough. Do I hear any evil voices or thoughts around? Nope. Okay. Yay! Funny thing is, uh, we all fail. Uh, uh -huh. Nice, nice will save gather, by the way. <laughs> anyway, for uh, for you two, you two are fine. You're fine. Owen falls over, unconscious. Do any of his arms come off? Nope. His arms stay on. On his arms going to lockdown mode? You're currently laying on the floor. Shut up. You're having dreams of pixies. Well, I'm going to wonder what's so good about the floor and fall over, too. <laughs> Ganon? Yeah. Please roll. Please roll perception. Oh, good. You see... You see two people coming in. They don't look like the rest of the crowd. They're wearing green cloaks 
with little skulls attached, with like little skull uh, cloak holders. And it looks like they're brandishing blades. And goes to Tetsubo. <clears throat> and it's when they say, you did not go to bed. And Surprised. It's like, surprise, motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. Anyway, um. And they start to go opposite directions from each other. Because yeah. they're kind of like, nope. Not worth it. I'll kick Raggy and say, you chase one, I'll chase the other. Oh, you know, I think my mom wins. Yes. Charge. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm charge. I think my mom Charge. Whatever. <laughs> so you're going to leave Owen there laying in the, laying in the street? Well, he's, uh, having to, he's having to talk with the dirt. What the fuck you want me to do? He, he says to no one in particular, uh -huh. realizing that he just truly is alone. He should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> he does it a lot. <laughs> He's there with the dirt. If there's any problem, the dirt will take care of him. <laughs> yes. Yes. See, even the GM agrees. Let's move on. <laughs> See, even even the guy who was proven from day one that he is absolutely nutters agrees. Well, it's a bit too late.